friends, my name is Emily B and welcome to Get Your Play Online. Today is Music and Mindfulness Day. So I'm going to go with the mindfulness and today we are going to make this yoga wheel. So basically what this is, is we're going to be doing yoga today, but first we're going to be making this wheel. So first we we, we can spin the wheel and it'll tell us what yoga pose to do next. So I'm going to be first teaching you how to make this wheel, second going over all of the different yoga poses on this wheel, and third we're going to play a few rounds of the game. What do you think? Great. Well first let me angle my camera a little more, a little further down and move this back a bit. So you guys can see everything I am doing. So here I have my, my yoga mat and all my supplies here. So first, to make this wheel, you will need some cardboard and you can get this anywhere. You know, sometimes your mom or dad order stuff online and you can get it from there, packages from there, or, um, an empty cereal box or anything like that that's just a little more sturdy than paper. Next we're going to need some paper. You can just use white printer paper or construction paper, whatever you want. And this will make the face of our wheel. Next we're going to need some crayons or some markers. I'm going to be using some crayon, some, excuse me, some markers here. And you can choose any color you like. You'll be needing a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, any circle stencil, or you can kind of, you can definitely draw a circle yourself. For now, I'm going to be using this bowl, but you can use whatever you want in whichever size you want. Okay. Oh, and lastly, we're going to need some type of paper clip that's bendable because we're going to be doing a lot of bending and cutting with our scissors. So we're going to have to be very careful with this part too. Um, I'm just going to close this out. Perfect. So then, so to start off first, we are going to get our cardboard and get our little stencil and we're going to trace a circle out of our cardboard with our pencil. So let me see if I can angle this a little more forward or I can actually just move back so you should be able to see me trace this on camera. And I will move our camera a little more back. Perfect. Alrighty, this is much better. So now we get our pencil. Trace out our circle and carefully with our scissors we're going to cut out this circle. And sometimes it's okay if we need a parent's help or anything like that. It can be sometimes a little bit difficult to cut cardboard because it's a lot thicker than paper. And while we cut, how is everybody's day doing? I know it's a nice Sunday, and maybe we're doing something fun today with our friends or with our families. And today's a very special day because today is Mother's Day. That's so fun. So maybe you're doing this activity with your mom. I know I love Mother's Day because I get to tell my mom so much. I love her. So I would love to hear in the comments or in anything what you guys are all doing for Mother's Day if you celebrate it. Okay. okay, so now I'm almost done cutting out my circle. have our circle cut out. So now we're going to do the same exact thing 
on a piece of paper. So we're going to get our paper and get our stencil and trace it out and then cut it out again. And this is going to be a lot easier to cut than cardboard, huh? It doesn't have to be completely perfect, especially sometimes if we're not using a stencil, it can not be a complete perfect circle. But that's okay, because this is supposed to be fun. And it doesn't really matter if we get our circle perfect. Okay, so now that we have our circle, we can decorate it how I decorated this. So first, we're going to want to do our lines to differentiate the different parts of our wheel. So to do that, again, you don't have to use a ruler, but you can. I'm using a ruler, and if we're going to use a ruler, we're going to want to mark the center of the circle. So I think the center of my circle would be about here. So first, we mark the center of our circle. And then we're going to draw one line that way and one line this way. So one line vertically and one line horizontally. You can use your ruler for this or you can just draw it like how you want. So I'm using pencil and then I'm going to go over it with marker. But you can use um, your marker straight away. So now one line vertically. Now that we have this, now we're going to draw one line this part diagonally and the other one diagonally like this, so we make kind of what looks like pizza slices. <laughs> Do you like pizza? I know I love pizza. So draw our lines horizontally and as straight as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to also need a glue stick. Whoopsie. Okay. So now that you've got all of your lines on here just like that, you can trace them out with a marker. I'm going to trace them out with a black marker just so it's nice and dark. And I can see the lines from afar. So again, you can use a ruler for this if you want to also. All right, now we got our lines that kind of look like pizza slices. So now we can draw all the different yoga poses we want on each one. So I'll just draw what I drew here. So our first yoga pose, which I'm gonna go over these after, but it's what we call the butterfly. So I'm gonna write butterfly. Um, the top 
of one of my little pizza slices up, whoop, up here. And then you can draw the yoga pose if you want, or you can just draw a picture that reminds you of the yoga pose. So in this one, in this um, wheel, I did draw the pose. So it's kind of, you put your feet together and kind of just do this and relax. But in this one, I'm just going to change it up a little bit and just draw a butterfly because that helps me, that reminds me of a butterfly pose. And you can get as colorful or as creative as you want with this. This is for you and your family to use. So next, what other pose do we have? We have a toe pose. Does anyone know about the toe pose? So it's when we stand up and go down and touch our toes with a straight back. So we're gonna put big toe pose. And then what reminds you of a big toe pose? Again here, I drew how it looks like. But for me, we can draw that again. So I'm gonna just draw a stick figure because I'm not very great at drawing full bodies, but that's okay. We all have our different strengths. So here is a person touching their toes. Next, we have our chair pose. And again, we you can put any any um, poses you like on here, any different type of structures, this is for you, but these are just the poses that I'm using for now. Okay, our chair pose is just kind of like how it sounds. It kind of looks like we're trying to sit on an invisible chair. So I'm just gonna draw a chair here to remind me of what a chair pose looks like. And I will also model it for you in a little bit. All right, so next, we have our plank pose. Plank pose kind of looks like we're doing a push up, but we're not actually going down to the ground. We're just holding our plank up high. So again, we can write the name of the pose on the top and draw what it looks like or draw something that reminds us of what that pose looks like. Awesome. Next, we have dancer pose. I like dancer pose. Do we have any dancers listening right now? I would love to hear about it. So here we write dancer pose. And you can put a picture that reminds you of dancing. So the dancer pose is kind of, we stand up and put one of our legs all the way behind. So I'm just going to put little ballet slippers because that reminds me of dancers. Great. Now we're going to do our seal or underdog pose or down dog pose, excuse me. So for this one, we're gonna kind of move our bodies like a seal. Oh, up dog pose. Sorry, not down dog or seal or up dog pose. Oh my goodness, I'm just making some mistakes today. And it's okay if you mis make mistakes on here. You can always color over it or just cross it out. It's okay, this is gonna be Fun. So I'm just going to draw a little dot here to remind me of what it is. Next, we kind of have the opposite of our seal pose, which is our... Oops, excuse me. I sneezed. <laughs> we're going to do our down dog pose. So, right, we're going to write down dog. 
and our down dog is kind of when we make a V with our bodies. So our hands are on the ground and our feet are on the ground and we kind of stick our bodies up so it kind of looks like a V. And I'll show you how that looks like also. So you can draw how, how that looks like or what it reminds you of that pose. And last but definitely not least is our tree pose. Our tree pose it's kind of like we're on a tree. So we look like a tree, excuse me, not that we're on a tree. So we kind of stand up really tall and put one of our legs kind of like this on our other, on our standing leg, which kind of looks like branches from a tree. So it helps us with balance. So I'm gonna put tree pose. And we can draw a tree if that helps us remember what it is. All right, so now we've got our wheel. Now, or we've got our paper wheel, so now we're gonna get the cardboard part that we made, and we're gonna paste our paper wheel on the cardboard. With this, we're gonna need our glue stick. So with our glue stick, we're going to go on the cardboard and just color our cardboard with glue stick. And let me go back a little bit so you can see what I am doing. All over the glue stick. Like that. So now we gotta put the, cap, the cap on the glue stick so it doesn't dry out. And now we can paste our paper wheel on to our cardboard. And they should be around the same shape. And it's okay if they have a little bit of edges sticking out. But there you go. So that is kind of the body, like the main part of our wheel. But now, what are we going to do to make it spin? We have to make an arrow. So we can spin the arrow to go on whichever yoga pose it lands on. So with our arrow, we get our remaining cardboard. And we can draw an arrow and cut it out. And if you can see, my arrow kind of looks like a tree trunk with a triangle tree on top. But you can make the arrow however big or however little, however you want it to look like, that can be your arrow. And now next we cut it out. Again, if we're using scissors, we always have to be very careful. And if we don't use, if we're not comfortable with using scissors by ourselves, we always ask somebody to help us. Safety is number one. Okay. So now that we got our wheel, we can color it in. Our, excuse me, our arrow, we can color it in. in. So I'm gonna get black and color, color it in so it kind of matches the lines on my wheel. But you can color it in whichever color you like. in now it's time to create now it's time to attach it and make our arrow spin so to do that it's a little bit tricky and sometimes we may need mom or dad's help but for this so here you can see let me take out the arrow I created a little hole in the center of this and how I did this was I got my paper clip and I kind of unfolded it so it was more of like a line so it doesn't look like a paper clip anymore, but we can unfold our paper clip and I use the end of it to poke a little hole in our wheel. So now, so now we just go poke and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. You may have to put extra pressure or press extra hard on it. But again, be very careful and make sure you don't put, press um, your finger with our paper clip. So now I got the paper clip through and there is now a hole. 
And now I have to do the same thing with our arrow. So I poke a hole, there we are, with our arrow. There you go. So now our arrow can line up with our wheel. And this is kind of where it gets a little bit tricky because we have to now, let me, sorry, my hole needs to be a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna go again and poke a hole in my arrow. Okay, perfect. Oops, where is my arrow? There it is. So now, it gets a little bit tricky with the paper clip. And sometimes you may need mom or dad or whoever's help with this, but that's okay. Try and use a paper clip that it's not too, um, too tight and you can easily kind of bend and mold it because that'll make this a lot easier. So we get our, actually we can get one end of our paper clip and we're going to fold down one of these ends. So we're going to fold one end onto itself, just a little bit. And again, this takes, it, it can be really, sometimes really difficult um, to do by yourself. So sometimes if you're being very safe, you can use your scissors to bend it. But sometimes we, we can ask mom and dad for, for what we call pliers, and those also help us bend our paper clip. So now, once we got it bent, it's going to look like this. So one little end of our paper clip is bent over. And then we're going to get our arrow and thread it through our paper clip. Sorry, my head's a little bit cut off here. So once paper clip is the thread through, we're going to cut it so it's very short. So I'm going to cut it with scissors. Cool. So now, here I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see it better. So now we have this ended, for, oh, this bent over. And then the end is cut off from the rest of the paper clip. And then we're going to get this end and we're going to bend it. So we have our arrow that looks like this. And now we're going to thread our the end of our paper clip through our wheel. There we are. So now it's like this. And the, the one that we bend it over part that we bended over stops this from going forward. There you go. And then on the back end, we're going to fold it down so it kind of looks like an L. Like that. And there we have our spin wheel. Because then that way, it can't go anywhere. Now we can spin all we want. So now I'm going to use my other wheel to cut just because it's already already. And let me just put it through. So now with our wheel, we can spin it. But first we've got to clean our area up. So I'm just going to push this aside for now so we have space to do yoga. Again, make sure with the sharp stuff to be very careful when you handle them. Okay. Oops, almost done. We got all of our scrap pieces of paper. So now I'm 
I'm going to put this in a pile for now, but I'm going to clean it up later. All right. So now we can go through all of the different poses that are on this our wheel that we made. And I'm just going to lift this up now so you can see me do these poses. So our first pose, I'm going to go through all of the poses now, and then we can play the game. So here, let's go through our first pose is tree pose. So our tree pose is how it kind of sounds. It sounds funny, but basically we stand like a tree. Oh, I have to position this nicely so you can kind of see everything that's going on. We stand like this, our feet are like this, like a tree, and our hands are like this. Our hands are like this at our chest. And I know you can't see me right now, but that's how it looks like. So our hands are at our chest, we're standing up straight, and then we have one foot like this. And that is a tree pose because this foot kind of looks like a tree branch. Our next pose. Our next pose, I'm going to try and move this so you can see my whole body. That's a little, that's a little better. <laughs> so our next pose is going to be our chair pose. So our chair pose is going to be like we're sitting on an invisible chair. So we're going to sit like this, we're going to put our chest up, and then we're going to kind of lean back as much as possible. And that, my friends, 